problems with the check valve in our pump and it's filled up with moss. So we put some grass carp in the pond, I don't know what, six, seven years ago, maybe. Oh, it's yeah, been a yeah. while, before we ever had cattle over here. And the pond is here and we utilize it for our water tanks. You should have probably brought your muck boots, huh? Yeah, I probably should have. <laughs> Um, let's go on that side. You want to go on that side of the yeah. pond? They're already in the pond. Oh my goodness. So the pond is gravity fed to the water tanks that take care of our cows. There's what? Seven tanks? Seven tire tanks that we put in in what? 2019? Yeah. So we hay that farm up there, and we hay that farm over there. Come here, guys. So, for any of y'all that have never put fish in a pond, you have to kind of let them sit and acculate to the water temperature, or you'll kill them. Put them in shock. But you guys can see how mossy it is. How many did you get? Four? Four. You see, that's our float out there. And then the pipe is about five feet underneath the water, probably. But see, if it was out further, it wouldn't be getting all this moss here. So we have to do some uh, diving to go fix that? No. We add the fish. <laughs> okay. But you have to have the... So, because there's a pipe underneath there with holes in it, right? But you have to have it so close to the top because of the oxygen level in the water, correct? You want it like five feet underneath the water. That's where the most oxygen is. It's a good thing we have a fish ray five miles up from the house, huh? Mm -hmm. So since we're so close to Mark Twain Lake, we have the Nemo fishery so and they all fish all, all over, over. Of Missouri too. yeah so we put in goldfish in the tanks a couple years ago right when we got the tanks set up and uh, there was a couple tanks we never got fish to so we got goldfish to put in the tanks as well just keeps them down keeps them cleaner keeps them fresher nobody wants to drink nasty water Pretty sure he wants in the water. She's definitely not her mother because Sky hates the water. Like she doesn't swim out there in it. Oh. <laughs> They're worse than kids. This is why we can't have a pool. Because they would be in the pool. I got to move your feet. Mm hmm. Y'all are a mess. I feel like we should build them a pond in the backyard, Jason, just to, have to swim in. You think the fishies will be done now? Are they ready? Yeah. Okay. So we're releasing the fish. How did he get that on? Mm, yeah, that's Owen. Probably because he does it every day. 
So our buddy actually works at the fishery, so that helps. We have connections. somewhere. Hopefully they're hungry little things. Ugh, just bring all that out. Should have just brought it out. Ah, oh, Dolly! I guess they went, huh? They went somewhere. So this is by far the worst tank that we have. It's because there's not been any fish in it to help eat the allergy. But all the other tanks, even though the cows haven't been up, are clean because of the fish being in it. So we bought guild fish. We did this a couple years ago when we first installed the tanks, but this one, this one didn't have fish in it, did it? Or did they die out? Uh, they should be good now, though. Yep, they'll be happy little fish. But the moss. We don't want to put all them fish in there. No. We're going to put half of them in there. Yeah. You're what? You're, you guess you're feeling better? It's not what I want to hear. I want to hear you say you actually are feeling better. So I guess I'll just keep monitoring you and keep you in the shade. Yeah. You've gotten kind of used to being in the air the last few days. At least it's cooler this week. It's supposed to be. Heat indexes last week were what? 102 to 109, I think. Look at them booties. The only butts I kind of like to put on YouTube. Okay, kids. Y'all about ready for some lunch? I'm getting hungry. We didn't make it as far as I had hoped. Flies are biting and I ran out of time, but hopefully tomorrow we'll uh, make it further. Sometimes it's just, just a little nice ride to be able to blow off some steam, decompress a little bit. He's a good boy, aren't you, Leo? Hot boy. Let you cool down a little bit, get a snack. You can go out and roll, and then I will give you a bath. Okay, I gotta go up there that first gate. Okay, so you can either go around the track easily. <laughs> Which one? That one. Yep, yeah, that's, that's Judy, isn't it? They all look good? Yeah. Just waiting for their drink, aren't they? Yeah, um, you wanna go drive around? No, let's just sit here and watch them for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to knock that um, tube out. I bet if you sit here, Spot might come up and see you. Charlie's coming back here. Charlie's coming. Oh, there's, there's Judy. 
You think she'll come see you? Maybe. Should have brought some treats. Up there, Jen. I put her here. Here. Mhm. Mm but I don't want to get out because that big guy. Which big guy? Um, the red mm. guy, guy. Oh, Slayer. Yeah. Cause... Is he out there? Oh, well, there's the little bull. He's right there. Oh, Charlie wants some nubbins. Hey, what was Bubba and Daddy doing? The mixer? Yeah. Yeah. She's coming up. Mm hmm Greg Judy's coming up. Because she's Greg Judy's cow. That's why her name is Judy. But she's a girl. You call her Judy. <laughs> Run away. Is it almost full? Oh, that's four. She won't hurt you. They, that's probably because they've been drinking out of it the whole time. So we may have to come back. Can we come back and check? We can drive around the paddock if you want. Okay. As long as you don't run no cows over. Okay. Farm girl. <laughs> Grandpa let her drive last week and now it's like her new obsession. And what better way to learn than open paddocks? And we're in low, so that's good. Go ahead. Hey, what are you doing? Helping Dad. Helping Dad. Oh yeah, and I, I think it'll be fine. And I don't know if I can, my niece will be able to, oh, uh, tonight. Life of a farm kid. That's why I know I'm here. Let's go get back in there. It probably won't do it now that I have the camera out, but you could see the baby kicking. Oh, makes me so happy, guys. I'm so happy. I'm not sure she's happy, but I'm happy about it. What do you think, Shiloh? Is it for the birds being pregnant? <laughs> you good girl. I'll be honest, I am missing running her and riding her. It'll come. Thank you guys so much for all the comments about Jason. He is doing so, um, it's almost a week out from when we had to take him to the hospital last week. Um, he did rest for the most part and that kind of made me really surprised and shocked, but he did. We made it through the tough um, being down and then it rained. So he's had several days to just kind of relax and recuperate. Um, it's been kind of muddy, so we haven't started doing any more hay yet. We have three fields left to the first cut. Uh, one of those fields will be little squares while we do large squares for all the rest of them. And then we'll start on third cut alfalfa and second cut mixed grass. So thanks for tagging along. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being a part of our farm family. You guys, we hit 10,000 today. 
and you guys blow my mind. You just blow my mind and it just you guys warmed my heart with all the comments and it just it means so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yes. Come on everybody. Have a good evening.